Get back over there. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Time for seven minutes in the morning. First, thank you so much for letting me have the opportunity to not do one yesterday. It's a challenging morning yesterday. But, hey, back here again today. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. This is the show. We talk about how to start, growing, enjoy the benefits of owning your own business. This week, I, you know, we actually get off business quite a bit. This week, we've been kind of off off the rails, um, as it were, and talking about what you can control. And I actually made my note here that um, that we started the week with. So that that's, and it's kind of developed into a couple of things. Today, I want to talk to you about what you should try to control. So Monday, I kind of set the stage for all this on Monday uh, with control what you can, let go of the rest. Right, because we get so wrapped up, so wrapped up, and especially this time of year, trying to keep all the all the balls in the air, juggle everything, uh, and, it, and it it creates stress, anxiety. We project expectations, and then those expectations don't get met, and then we get frustrated and angry. Remember. Uh, boy, this is a tangent. Frustration is a function of expectations. If you want to be, if you want to reduce your frustration level, reduce your expectations. Or set them appropriate. Alright, so anyway, um, so that's what, mm -hmm, sorry, so today, today I'm gonna get into, uh, control what, what you should be able to control, right? What should you be able to control? Before I do that, uh, go ahead and drop me a note down there like Joe and Keith did. Say hi, say good morning, or watching live or on the replay. I don't care. It's all good to me. And I appreciate it. All right, so what should you control? And Joe, this is set up from your uh, comment a couple of days ago. So by all means, chime in if you've got something to add. Uh, and if you put something particularly good there, I'll show you a new feature of the software, which lets me show your comment. I don't know. Anyway, what should you try to control? There's only one thing, only one thing that we have absolute control over. Anybody care to venture a guess what that is? One thing that we have absolute control over. Other people try to control it all the time. We try to control it in other people all the time. But it is mine, only mine, and I am the only one that has absolute control over it. What is it? It is my response. Yeah, Joe says ourselves. Close. How many times have you heard somebody say, Oh, I'm just trying to make so-and-so happy. You can't make them happy. You can create conditions where they should be happy. You can create conditions, and this is more likely, more often than not, this is the case. You create conditions for them that would make you happy. But it doesn't necessarily make them happy. And then, so when you do that, you expect them to be happy, and then when they don't do it, you've projected your expectation on them, and then when they're not happy, what are you? Frustrated. Welcome to Christmas dinner. <laughs> I mean, honestly, isn't that the way it goes a lot? We, we get everybody together, oh, everybody's supposed to be happy, it's Christmas, it's great. You know, after a couple hours, like, man, I gotta get out of here, these people are crazy. Right? I mean... All of that is the result of projected expectation. So, you know, as you're going into those kinds of events over the next couple of days, right? Think about it. I'm not here to make anybody happy. I'm not here to piss anybody off. I'm just here to be here and enjoy being there. And as I said yesterday at the coffee shop show, be present. Don't be this. And test that. I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, I'm doing that. Um, be present. So here's the test. Look around over the next week or so as you're having these events. See how many people are staring at their phone. That's a pretty good sign they're not engaged in what's going on. There's a, a, a commercial. I don't even remember who the commercial's for, but, you know, family's coming in for Thanksgiving, and uh, Grandma's got the metal detector set up at the door confiscating phones and, and whatnot. 
Probably not a bad idea. Put them in a basket. If everybody is there, then it's okay. Nobody's going to call you. Just chill out for a little bit. Joe says the first step to being happy is to be honest with yourself. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, and that's that's really about expectations. Right? Set proper expectations for yourself. We have the uh, weird capability to overestimate what we can get done in a year and underestimate what we can get done in a day. Right? Because we think about it. Quit thinking about it. Just do it. All right. I've rambled on long enough. So control what you can control. What can you, what do you have absolute control over? Your response, right? I told a story last night um, about me and my old business partner. I know I've told it here many times, but things got sideways with us. We we got sideways with each other. Long, long, drawn-out ordeal. But at the end of the day, I'm not mad at him anymore. Because if I sat here today mad at him, if I told you that story and that made me think, yeah, real, it's just a right and I got mad about it he didn't even know it's only going to ruin my day not his why would I do that why would I do that to myself I don't know he says trying to help others others lives can mean you ignore improving your own that's right so when when we're thinking about if if I'm living my life to make somebody else happy who am I not making happy uh, I wonder how many divorces are rooted in that. I'll have to, I'll have to look into that. Because, wow, we just got, well, but we're trained with that way, right? I mean, sometimes we can overcome that, but we get expectations from our parents, our teachers, our counselors, our friends, our neighbors, do this, do that, do the other. Oh, I'm supposed to do this. No, you're supposed to do what you're uniquely gifted, talented, and placed to do. That might be to be a brain surgeon, but it might be um, a painter or a carpenter or a plumber. God knows we need all of them, right? So, you know, find the one that meets your unique gifts and talents and dive into it. Man, that's just, I don't know. That's the way to do it. Engagement and understanding our points of reference are significant factors in our perceptive growth, both personally and professionally. Yeah, now I think I think I think I understand what you're saying there, Joe. I, I think that's what I just said about understanding our unique gifts, talents, gifts and talents, and using them. Understand yourself. That's that's a significant starting point to finding the thing that's right for you. All right. That's going to be it for this thankful Thursday. What are you thankful for today? Leave me a comment. Let me know that. Also, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for watching or listening, whether you're watching on the podcast, watching on Facebook. All those things are greatly appreciated. I'll be back tomorrow for sure for uh, Free Coaching Friday. And um, we'll have to see what next week holds. I'm, I'm kind of leaning toward taking the week off. Um, I don't know if I can go a whole week without talking to you guys. So, I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Um, I'll definitely be here tomorrow, 7 o'clock Central Time in the States. Be here. Join me. Thanks for being here today. That's as elegant as the closing gets today. Talk to you tomorrow. <laughs>